From the sidelines, we gotta hustle cause we gotta eat. From the sidelines, we got some goals that we still gotta reach. Welcome to Wide Receiver Film Room, the show where we dive deep into the art of route running and the fundamentals of wide receiver play. Episode 18 of Wide Receiver Film Room focuses on New York Giants tight end and one of our clients, Evan Ingram, in a week four matchup versus the Dallas Cowboys. Evan had a sequence towards the end of the game where he was matched up on number 26 for multiple plays in a row in a man-to-man -man passing situation. We prepared for 26 as an inch back motor mirror defender in press coverage, meaning that Evan wanted to attack him head on and eat up the cushion that 26 was trying to play with. We want to attack edges, finish tight through his hands, stay aggressive and use our tempo as a weapon. Towards the end of the game, Evan had two different 12-yard outs called versus number 26 and was able to win on those routes two different ways. I just want to dive deep into two different ways that we can win on an out route from the slot versus press coverage. I hope you guys enjoy Wide Receiver Film Room episode 18 featuring Evan Ingram. From the sidelines, we gotta hustle cause we gotta eat. All right, so like we said, really focusing on two different ways to win on an out route from the slot versus press coverage here. Evan did a beautiful job in his matchup versus number 26 of the Cowboys. This first one is inside leverage press coverage. And again, we define 26 as an inch back motor mirror press corner. He's a soft shoot guy, meaning that his first step is to give ground, right? Some guys, their first step is to stay flat footed and challenge you. Other guys want to stay over the top and play with cushion. This is a guy whose first step is back. He wants to gain ground. So that means we want our first step to be in attack mode. We want to, we want to eat up space. We want to step vertically and try to attack his edges, right? Stay tight to him. When a guy doesn't show to be a very physical guy, doesn't show to be a guy who's going to challenge you right away, there's no reason for us to run wide and run at wide angles that give him an opportunity to cut us off. We want to be aggressive off the ball, attack him head on to inch him back and, and then finish tight as we open up a lane for ourselves. Ev does a good job of this. He keeps it simple, takes a little power hop forward, but staying in attack mode, has good aggressive body language as he's, as he's attacking forward, knowing again that 26 is one to inch back. He's one to open the gate. Ev's giving some body language inside. He's, hitting, he's giving a little head and shoulder action inside, but he's staying on this outside edge, knowing that we don't want to get caught too far inside where he can potentially disrupt us and can potentially make this a more difficult situation. Stay on that outside edge. Just get him to open up a little bit inside, and then it's routes on air. It's exactly what Evan does. 26 is true to the scouting report. He inches back and gives us space. As soon as he, he does that, your only job is to finish tight and run your best out route. Once you see him inside leverage, once the plan works to capture the outside edge and you have this outside leverage on him, running an out route versus this is now routes on air. So as soon as you get to this point, as soon as you capture this edge and you're now running vertical, this becomes a route that you've run a million times over the summer. How many times have you run a slot out route on air? You've probably practiced this over and over. So as soon as you get to the point where you get him fully chasing you, you've captured his edge. This is routes on air. This is a practice rep for us. And Ev does a great job treating it that way. Once we get to this edge, our focus is our body language. Our focus is selling vertical and playing with no indicators. We want to remain aggressive, good forward body lean. Make 26 believe that we took this outside release to run a seam or to run something vertical. Make him defend vertical, get in full chase mode. And again, we're playing with no indicators. We've got leverage. And there's no real way for 26 to defend this because Evan does a good job selling vertical. 26 has to defend every route on the field. And we know where we're going and he doesn't. Sell vertical to the last minute. Don't give anything away. And then we can win in the break area. We got to do a great job pushing off this speed cut, right? We really want to push off. Don't slam down. By pushing off and propelling us to the sideline, that's how we create separation off one step and then continue to finish the break finish downhill, catch the ball, get vertical right away. Pretty good rep right there to win on this catch from, from Evan. And now another time matched up for his 26 in the slot. This time Evan actually has a seven route called that he has the ability to shape off and finish friendly if the coverage calls for it. So Evan doesn't panic. He's got an outbreaking route versus outside leverage, but he knows 26 wants to play over the top. He uses that against him and Evan knows he has the tools in his bag to win this matchup no matter how he plays. Ev does a great job using his patience as a weapon here. He attacks 26's outside leverage patiently, knowing that, that by attacking his leverage versus an inch back guy who wants to stay over the top, like, like just using his play style and his leverage against him, 26 has no choice but, but to honor that one-step stretch and, and give him that space inside. So Evan earns a free lane inside. He gets 26 to run outside. And now Evan does a great job playing with good tempo. You have him beat to the inside. Now you've got this free lane, but you're trying to break back out against his leverage. The one, number one thing we can't do right here is, is play too fast. And, and then we end up running into him. We want to break out. So I think what Evan does a great job of here is playing with pace, right? He moves 26 outside. He gets his open lane inside, and then he's not in a rush as he lets his route develop. He keeps good aggressive body language. He's not raising straight up. He gives the illusion that he's still running vertical by keeping good forward body lean, 
but he's playing at about an 85, 90% pace, which allows 26 to catch up to him, right? If Evan was running full speed after this release a million miles an hour, he's going to end up running into 26. There's going to be too much separation between him and 26 at the top. We want there to be no separation at the top if we're going to throw him by and win underneath. So I think a really great part of this route from Evan is just his ability to play at a controlled pace, keeping that forward demeanor, keeping that aggressive body language, but you're not out of control. You're playing at the appropriate tempo that the situation calls for. Now, when you go to violently drop your hips down and cut underneath him, there's no space between you and him. He's even with you because you've allowed him to catch up and you can break across his face and you've got plenty of separation. Again, running with no indicators as he's playing vertical, sudden break point, really good job in the break area, dropping his hips suddenly, not giving it away before that, and then running out of the break to create separation. Again, we're open if it, we're open if the quarterback wants to throw it right here. But just a great job from Evan using his toolbox and finding solutions, finding ways to win on an outbreaking route versus press coverage, two different leverages, but the same matchup, using this guy's play style against him, trusting the scouting report, and going out there and executing at a high level. Great job from Evan Ingram and a great lesson for all of us to learn from how to attack leverage how to treat these situations like routes on air, how to control your body language, but two solutions for winning an outbreaking route in the slot versus press coverage. Great example here from Evan, Wide Receiver Film Room, episode 18. From the sidelines, we gotta hustle cause we gotta eat. From the sidelines, we got some goals that we still gotta reach. Touchdown.